definitely go a little more in detail on another video, but we're going to briefly cover the chart command. Uh, for this perspective, we're going to treat the chart command almost identical to the stats command, uh, where you can use stats, you can use chart, where you can use chart, you can use stats. Um, primarily, you can use the chart command to be able to see the visualizations in your uh, code a little easier. So I'm just going to do that here. We're going to do index equals lane training. I'm going to put a source type in there. I could do a stats count by, uh, let's do this. Let's do a stats count by source type. I run that command. I get back, let's do this in the right mode. So I get back different views. And I can see this. I could do the exact same thing and do a chart count by source type. And all I need to do is then just choose my visualization. Maybe I want a column chart. Maybe I want a line chart. Maybe I want a pie chart. Maybe I want a bubble chart. Doesn't do very well here because you don't have multiple dimensions. Um, but we could do a line chart. So anyway, you can just do a simple thing like that. And if you flip it, you can put stats count by source type, something like this. And now we see all these different source IPs that come in on the con logs. And so you mess around with it and ch change it around. But it, the chart command primarily gives you much the same capabilities as you can do with the stats. Now you can implicitly call out the chart, what kind of chart you want, and things like that. Um, but honestly, that's above the point of this. Just do a chart command and grab your visualization. If you're doing a dashboard, pick the visualization in the dashboard panel. So basically, the chart command and the stats command, they can be used interchangeably uh, to help display information and get it ready to uh, be for visualization. Anyway, I uh, hope you like that. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to continue making these uh, videos. I hope this helps you on your journey from becoming a uh, lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.